Happy Monday, everybody. What a great Monday it is. It's going to be a big show because it's the first Gutfeld Super Duper Journalism Awards. All you fast and faithful journals, we have been watching your skills grow. So this is where we honor writers who impress us with their brave journalistic pursuits. And tonight's winner, we get right to it, Jeremy Bailey, a writer for The Wrap, an entertainment website. On Friday, last week, he broke a major story about a famous TV anchor saying something shockingly disgusting to a co-anchor. I believe we have tape of what actually caused the uproar. A lot of these homeless services that are getting a lot of money, more and more money, it's not working. The solution is in listening to the homeless, like the woman who says, we are spoiled, we need tough love, or we're never going to get off the street. Greg, what do you think about that approach? I agree with everything the little lady says, and I'm sorry about the cart. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you catch that? Panelist Greg Gutfeld, otherwise known as me, refer to Dana Perino as a little lady. And talk about a microaggression. <laughs> Here's a quote from Bailey in the rap. Perino and Gutfeld often trade witty barbs and banter, but Perino is also a veteran news anchor whose career dates to a stint as the White House press secretary during the G.W. Bush administration. While it took her a beat to register Gutfeld's reference to her as the little lady, she laughed it off. And she continued. Now, you'd think that I just told Dana to take off her shoes and get in the kitchen where she belongs. <laughs> Which, by the way, is what I say to Jesse every day. <laughs> but apparently, the writer was shocked at Dana's response, which he described as, quote, unfazed. Yes, unfazed. Like she's a war reporter continuing a live hit while bombs are raining down. <laughs> what an ass. So what was she supposed to do? Fly into a rage, slap me across the face, even when she knows how much I like that? <laughs> so why doesn't she care? Well, the reporter could have answered it himself if he knew the topic he was writing about, but that would require journalistic ability. So why should she be unfazed? Would she be unfazed over being called a little lady? She flunked the you must be tall sign at an ant farm. She's small enough to be a stocking stuffer. An oven mitt is her sleeping bag and nothing slows her down except for glue traps. And I've seen chihuahuas carry her in their purses and always make sure she's not in your pocket before you wash your pants. And her above ground pool is an empty Cool Whip container. She was the bride figurine on her own wedding cake and her pronouns are teeny tiny and itsy bitsy and she's always picked first for limbo and she's used to being under the microscope when having her clothes tailored she goes sledding on a pink eraser she proves good things come in small packages especially when she's smuggling heroin <laughs> breaking news a woman can take a joke Anyway, not deterred by this sordid history, the writer, knowing he had the scoop of his lifetime, actually reached out to Fox, our company, for comment. And that went right to our Gutfeld our gut complaint department. Hey, Joe, we got another request for comment. I really need you to take care of this, all right? I'll get right on this. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, the rap expected Dana to be offended and they decided they would be off offended for her as well but how offended was she really well we go to Dana for comment hey Jeremy if you think that's offensive you should hear what I call Greg in private like how he's a no talent <laughs> chicken <laughs> full of horse <laughs> I've got more talent in my than he does in his entire <laughs> and just being around that makes me want to all over the floor i mean i know squirrels with bigger than him do i need to go on <laughs> oh wow <laughs> clap oh you clap for that 
Now, being fair and balanced, unafraid, and also gorgeous, we went to Jeremy for a comment, right? Because that would be fair. Yes, we actually reached out for a comment on him needing to reach out for a comment. And we tried to review his other writing to see if it's parody or if he's always this stupid. Here's the actual email we sent. And so far, there's been no response. So what a perfect microcosm of the current journalism landscape. People who don't know what they're talking about trying to create a scandal off a single throwaway line. That's journalism. But it's not just them. Yahoo News reprinted the story. And I know what you're thinking. What's Yahoo News? <laughs> but there's a whole ecosystem of stupid lefty takes. It's like a terrarium, except the reptiles are even uglier. Hell, look at this headline from Media Matters just a few weeks ago. Fox News' Greg Gutfeld calls for the arrest of Dr. Jill as payback for the indictment of Donald Trump. Again, they wouldn't know a joke, even if it started with the words, knock, knock. <laughs> Here's the clip they were so offended by. I'm not that interested in locking up Hunter or Joe Biden, but the other side would lock up every one of us if they could, so... Let's go. You almost, Let's you effing almost go. Let's, Let's take him out. Let's put him behind bars. All of them. Pelosi All of them. I Every Biden. Dr. Jill. I want. Do, she's not a real doctor. How long <laughs> has she been practicing on patients, telling them that she's an actual doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you can't tell when someone's joking if you have no sense of humor. But that got picked up by these hacks who realize they can't write what they really want to write if they admit that it's a joke. So instead, they lie to their viewers or their readers. But you can see how nothing matters when your filter is preconceived and you're desperate for content. It doesn't make you a journalist. It just makes you a hole filler. Wake up, fill a hole, go home, cry yourself to sleep. You know you'd be a lot happier if you worked on potholes, at least there. You'd have something to be proud of at the end of the day. And this ain't it, Jeremy. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He was on SNL before it stood for, sorry, no laughs, comedian and host of the new Fox Nation stand-up since I woke up in America, Rob Schneider. He's got the mind of a newsman and the face of an even better looking newsman, the America's newsroom co-anchor, Bill Hammer. <laughs> He's the rabble rouser with a face like Doogie Hauser, host of the Guy Benson Show, Guy Benson. <laughs> She's wiry, fiery, and has a tear-stained diary. Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. <laughs> so, Rob, I'm trying to figure out what kind of connotation is there to little lady that I somehow missed? I mean, can you imagine being, watching that and deciding that this is a journal, this is a story that requires following up on? As I just think uh, three three fifths of this uh, group we have here are all insulted by what you did. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think uh, first of all, I didn't realize that Dana was a midget until this whole episode. Happened. <laughs> you know. I think we call them little people now. <laughs> don't well, I, I don't know. You know what though? It's interesting is that you, you know. Little people live a lot longer. You, yeah. You know what you never hear? The NBA best seven-foot basketball player turned 100 today. Yeah, it's true. You didn't hear that. They're already tiny. They're always tiny people. You know yeah. why? Yeah, I think it's because you know you don't you, you take these smaller steps. You know, <laughs> so yeah. there's no science there. Uh -uh. No, no, not at all. Hammer, you're a journalist. Yes, you sir. claim to be one. Does this embarrass you? I mean, you had some. You, I'm sure you had to do some pretty bad stories, but this feels like you, a story you don't. You have know to what do. I thought was offensive was the way you motioned with your right thumb for just one split millisecond. I mean, that was the offensive act. Why? Now, why is that offensive? Well, I just saw it in the replay, and I saw the write-up on it, and I thought, well, he's on to something. You <laughs> Do you think this was an, uh, a subliminal alt-right symbol that I was doing Ooh. with my hand? Ooh, now, that, only you can answer that. Uh, I'm saying it's but, a but signal. Maybe you're on to something. I work with Dana every day. Yeah. Yeah. And she's convinced she's taller than you. No, she's... She does... She... <laughs> Some people are convinced they're like the wrong gender. I mean, that's she has. If she wants to identify as five seven, that's her right. But she's four eleven. No, it's 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 like an old joke of mine. I said like uh, my parents are short, and I, I married a girl shorter than me. We're like Shetland people. We're breeding down. <laughs> she also wouldn't need to be five seven to be taller than you. 
Why? Uh, you need to be like 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> Why is this turning into an attack on me? <laughs> Didn't we have this already, the argument already on Friday? Were you here on Friday? Yeah, you were. Always here. Yes. <laughs> we did an entire round on my height. I'm always here, and you've said way worse stuff to me than that every single day. Yeah. Why does Yahoo News never get upset on my behalf? Because <laughs> you're not a veteran. I would love to be called little lady. It's always like mentally ill, alcoholic scarecrow. <laughs> I don't know, but they don't, this is actually not as bad as some other things I've seen, too. Right. I remember in like 2015, uh, the salon did something about me where they referred to me as an outraged parent or administrator. <laughs> <laughs> of which I'm neither. And they could have, they didn't even have to Google it. They could have just rewound the clip that they were posting to see how I'm introduced. But they don't care. It's so lazy because people, they're like, oh, everybody hates Fox News anyway, so nobody will care. That's what they think. And they also realize nobody's going to check to see if somebody was making a joke. No. So they'll say, like, oh, he, like the, the, the one about me saying that Dr. Chill should be in prison. <laughs> was taken seriously yeah. by so many people. And it's because they didn't, but they don't watch the clip either. Oh, yeah. They just read the headline. Guy, I'm sure you had some like an entry level reporting jobs. Did you ever do anything like this? I mean, I feel bad that somebody has to do that for a living. Well, you actually avoided the key crime here, which was not calling her doctor. Mm. You were very good about doing that. <laughs> yes. Uh, the other thing is for people who may not fully understand at home what Media Matters is. Yeah. It's this group of left wingers paid by somebody to sit chained to a radiator somewhere watching us <laughs> all day long trying to find things to get angry about. Exactly. This is their entire existence. They sit there like clockwork orange. Their eyeballs <laughs> but there's fried a room open. Full of them. Yeah. Oh, they, they all sit in this little hive mind. And I am convinced that at least at some point in our history, we have converted one of these Media Matters people into liking us because we are irresistible. No, that's right. why they stop. So they say they, a lot of these people, and it's not just them, but the Daily Beast does, it's these other places. They, they, you're not like exaggerating this. People are paid to watch this show because the clips and the five and this show, the clips generate eyeballs and that pays for their advertising. So it's actually like barnacles on a ship. Yeah. Like you, all you gotta do is create this ship and then you create jobs for all these other people. And at some point when someone starts to have impure thoughts about yes. Fox News because they actually they have to watch us all the time and they realize actually we, we kind of like this. It's off to the gulag and they find the next person out of college. I think that's how the system works over there. Yeah. Um, well, I think you're correct. And I'm not going to call you a little lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. I still don't know what, I, what little lady. What's wrong with it, Kat? You're a woman. Because... <laughs> Because, thank you, um, because, <laughs> because she's had a long, impressive professional career, mm -hmm. but also I feel like if you're able to handle being a press secretary for the president, you're able to handle being called that. Yeah. Now that's not bad, little lady. See what I did there? <laughs> the, the rap is all over this set. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, we gotta move on. Coming up, brain dead politicians making bad decisions. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.